Okay, so what we have here today is a Sony CMT EP313 Mini Hi-Fi. And I'm actually going to take it apart and um, replace the belt for the uh, cassette drive and just to check over the laser to make sure it's all moving correctly. and just checking over bits and pieces because um, I'm going to be um, selling this one and I've already tested most of it the tuner um, it is in very good working order and um, it is actually in fantastic condition okay just so we've got a, an idea of what's going on here we've got a screen up here which has got um, a display button okay the um, CD is now playing and we've got the usual stuff pause um, stop skipping forward okay and playing I can't really let the music play because of copyright strikes and so on um, that's skipping the track along and that sounds fine out the speakers we've got a bass and treble here allows you to um, adjust um, the bass how do we do that press that and then up yeah so you basically press that one and then one of these to adjust the bass or the treble which basically adjusts the sound quality. DSG, don't know what that does, let's press it, find out. Maybe something to do with bass, don't know. It's actually got an infrared sensor here, which um, would be, so you can use a remote control to control this. I'm not sure if I've got that here or not. So we've got the CD buttons here, just gonna stop that now. We've got tuner and I doubt it will pick up anything even though I do have an arrow plugged in. I will try and pick up our local radio station. There we go. There is a an AM loop antenna plugged in at the moment. One of these, which is on a little stand. I eventually found out how to do it. What's those little clips on the side? You pull them away, and then it makes the um, antenna stand up like that. And I haven't. I need to plug this in now and there's um, normally two wires and they go into the back let's turn this around and then there's two little squeeze um, squeeze connectors on the back of this one in and the second one is now just looking on the back here we've got um, the AM antenna loop we've also got an FM wire which is just um, I've just got this um, coaxial based one plugged in, which is just basically a long way. You, you unravel that and um, use that as a as a wire. I've got the usual speaker connectors, and you keep the blacks into the negative, so that makes the speaker operate the correct the correct way. 
We've also got two phonos here, or RCAs. These are for, it says underneath here, MD, and that means mini disc. And that allows you to plug in a separate mini disc module, which I do not have. I think it sold separately back then. Over here, we've got the model number. Um, it says here model number HCD hyphen EP313, which is a, a 32 watt compact disc deck receiver. I wonder if I can get that to focus. It's not going to focus, isn't it? No. Oh, there it goes. It was focusing then. It seems to be focusing on all sorts of things today. Right, let's um, go back to the front for just a second. Just want to um, check over So now we plug the air oil in. We should get some noise. So we've got something on 909 normally. So let's try 909. Yes. There is um, some radio there. Okay. So that works. So we know that works, but I'm aware that the poor cassette deck is not working, and um, we need a need to change its belt. Also, just to point out, we've also got the MD button here for the mini disc. If we uh, plug one in, or any other device, for instance, you could um, plug in a computer or. Uh, an iPhone or some description to play through the speakers. That would work.